Let's say it's day one of your exam. As David Goggins said, we all know what that feels like. The morning of the exam. You have your clothes laid out. You have your food ready to go in the morning. You've been preparing for weeks and weeks and weeks. You show up and you bring your best self and you sit at your desk and open the exam paper. And you start writing and writing and you just keep writing. A week or two later, you get your results back and you've passed. In fact, you've not just passed, you've got the highest grade in the class. All right, perfect. But after a couple months, you start showing up to class a little later. You don't look as good. Your clothes aren't laid out. Your breakfast isn't ready. Your mind gets softer. And a lot of you are doing that with your studying. But you need to keep that pressure on. Repetition every day. Eight hours studying a day. Ten hours a day. Even 12 hours a day if it's needed. I believe that most of us are only living at 40% of our capability. The mind has a restrictor, like a car. If you're driving a car and that car has a restrictor on it, the car may say 130 miles per hour, but the restrictor is set for 91. The car wants to go, the car wants to go, but the factory restrictor says no, we're not going past 91. We have a restrictor in our brain. It's a survival mechanism, and it protects us from pain and suffering. And your brain pushes you in a direction that it's comfortable. The mind controls everything. When you get to 40%, your brain says, we're done studying, this is starting to get uncomfortable. So, you stop studying. So, if you start to feel pain at 40%, that's where it starts. Okay, I'm feeling pain. My mind's saying, all this nonsense to me. It's trying to get you to procrastinate. It's trying to get you to relax and take a step back. But this is the time you have to regain control back of your mind. It's like, okay, let me see if I can go up to 45% or 50%. And once you start giving yourself more and more hope and start pushing back, your mind is going, wait, what are you doing? I'm telling you to go right, but you're going left. You start then controlling your mind. You start finding more in yourself. And then you go from 40% to 50%, to 60%, to 70, 80, or even 90. But that's the start of it. Get to the spot where your mind is saying, stop, wherever that is. Get there first. And then that's when you can start pushing back. You've got to control yourself in that moment. It shouldn't even be about what grade you get in the exam or what grade you get in your assignment or even what grade you graduate with. It's the grind. It's the battle. It's the daily struggle. That's what it's about. That's what's going to keep you growing. I want the struggle. I want to grind and hustle and keep studying even with every part of my body is telling me to stop. Even when the TV is calling my name, even when my friends are phoning me, even when there's a house party playing that night. Because that makes me smarter. It takes me one step closer to where I want to be. It's your job to do the stuff you don't want to do. So you can become the person that others want to be. And the people around you, they won't really understand. They won't really understand why you're doing it. Why you're so focused and so disciplined and so zoned in? Because they don't know what you know. And it's supposed to be that way. It's not supposed to be an easy road. Every day grinding and pushing, that doesn't tire me. It inspires me. It inspires me to push harder.